Coming soon. Welcome everyone, welcome, welcome on Webelation ATV. My name is Nostalia, I am your host on this platform. Shabbat Shalom to you all. You are watching Webelation ATV Live, where we blow the trumpet and sound the alarm. And we also give a voice to whom carry a vision. So today we have an amazing speaker, an apostle of God, Deja Hands, and she will be back here in a few seconds. But I would like to take the time to uh, say hello to everyone in a few minutes. I'm about to go ahead and just play a video, a presentation, and then we'll come back. And I want to make sure that you like, share, and like, and comment. If you do not comment, I will not know that you are here watching with us. In Again, welcome to Revelation ATV. We'll be right back right after this presentation. Please like and share and comment. And after our presentation, I would like to tell everyone hello and welcome again and say your name and uh, make sure that you are here with us. And uh, in a minute, uh, we'll I will be right back with you. Thank you.
coming soon. You just saw a presentation of Apostle Desra Hands. Yes, so today we are talking about a move of God in our life. We all need a move of God. So Apostle Desra Hands is an amazing woman of God. She is an ambassador, a warrior, pastor, and a founder of Warrior um is warrior unleash ministry a warfare intercession and prophetic ministry located out of north carolina appointed for such time has this yes so today you are here for a treat so apostle has devoted her life to god and prayer and intercession worship deliverance and desires to be used to motivate and spy teach inspire teach and activate activate train and cultivate and spiritual warfare and equip the body of christ after she accepted her public call to minister to ministry in 2009 as a licensed minister of the gospel of jesus christ she has ministered at conference and other services locally in North Carolina and hosted her own glory encounter. She delivered the message of truth with boldness, with the goal to free God's people out of chains of bondage across the global nation. Amen. So Apostle has gone through a lot from personal trials, sickness, but God brought her out, not just with victory, but totally victory, even through all of this. She has dedicated herself, her life to ministry and marriage relentlessly. Apostle is assigned by God to help bring all nations together as one body to strengthen revive, heal, deliver, and cultivate to edify the kingdom of heaven and wake Hovok to the kingdom of darkness. Glory to God. So through Jesus Christ, we shall unlike the inner warrior to stand, fight, and conquer. Glory to God. So again, today we will be talking about a move of God in our life. I need a move of God. I don't know about you, but I need a move. I need a move and you need a move. A move to transform our life. Glory to, glory to God. To a higher dim dimension. Glory to God. If you are with me, if you know what I'm talking about, type below. We need a move. I need a move of God. Hallelujah. So before I bring our, our guest speaker today, I would like to go ahead and see uh, who is here with us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please let me know if you are here. Let me know where you are coming from, which country, because again, this is the platform, national platform from Paris to the UK and the U. US, hallelujah. So I can see here today, uh, to Ned Kendall, greetings to you and welcome to Revelation 8 TV. Welcome, Jennifer Lewis. Yes, let's go. I agree with you. Uh, Selinda Rivers, good evening. Good evening. I wonder where you are. Please let me know where you are, which country you are watching from. Uh, Kinsia White, welcome, welcome. I like the fire. Yes, yes. And in and, and your screen on Facebook page, you should be able to see a star. Just bring up the stars for us this evening. Amen. 
glory to God. So we have Therese Saint Just. Bonjour. She is watching from Paris, France, and I know because she's my mother. Glory to God. And so Kesha White, yes, glory to God. Hallelujah. And uh, so again, please let me know where you're coming from. Who are you? And uh, what country you are uh, coming from? Amen. So um, at this time, Yolanda, yes. We need a move. Glory to God. We need a move of God. Yes, Jennifer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I have also Cameron Lewis. And please like and share. Like and share. We're about to start in a few minutes. Kenzia White. Yes, I need a move of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So Yolanda is from Miami, Florida. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Cameron is saying that Warrior Unleash Ministry is here and North Carolina. Yes, Cameron, glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Rosetta is here with us. Royal Unleash. Unleash. <laughs> North Carolina. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So without waiting any longer, I would like to bring with us the woman of God here. And she has been waiting for this. I am waiting for this. So I pray that you will be blessed today, today, and you will receive the move that you need to the higher dim dimension in your life uh, to go higher in God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let me go ahead and bring her right now in Jesus' mighty name. Make sure that you are a mute woman of God. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Blessings are. to you. Can you hear me? Can you yes. hear me well? Uh, amen. Well, blessings to you. And thank you again for the invite and the uh, such such awesome, such awesome uh, spirit that you have on you. But I don't believe in just talking. Let's go ahead and, and move with the spirit of the Lord because there is a move. Amen. And we just thank God for the move that he is doing. We thank God for his His kindness and his graceful mercy, his mercy that he has allowed for us to move and be and be a part of what he is doing. So we just thank God. I thank everyone one from Warriors Unleashed for coming on. I thank God. I thank you, woman of God. But God, as you begin to talk, God says, I need you to pray. As you begin to talk, because Warriors Unleashed is a ministry that we believe in intercession. We believe that things begin to break mm -hmm. off when we begin to communicate and declare things in the spiritual atmosphere. So we believe that when we begin to speak to God and communicate to God, God has got to respond. So this, uh, God is telling me, I, I need you to start off. I need you to start off in intercession. I need you to start off in prayer. I need you to start off because there is a word and there is a move, but they can't move if we don't pray. We can't move, but we can't be on one accord with God. So we thank you for everyone that came on the line that is trusting God today. We thank, I thank everyone that has came on the line that is believing in the move of God. We thank you that is pushing and pressing for the move of God. You have made it here today. You have made it in spite of the situations, in spite of what you have gone through, in spite of what you have gone through throughout your night, in spite of what you have gone through yesterday, you've made it here. You have pressed towards the mark to hear and, be, and feel a shaking of God today. So we want to pray because God says, I want you to give them one word. I want Want you to give them one word that describes this move and god says tell them this move is called suddenly god says tell them this move is called suddenly this move is called unexpectedly this move is called supernaturally this move is called my god i feel them this move is called the move of god like never before this move is called something that has never been done it is called unprecedented move and i thank God, uh, for allowing me to be a vessel to deliver the move of God. So we want to pray. Uh, we want to come on one accord. We want to be one unit. Uh, we want to be one sound unto the Father that seeks and higher uh, in heaven. So God, uh, we thank you, oh God. Um, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, oh God, for allowing me uh, and allowing us, oh God, to stand as your ambassador, to stand as your servant, oh God, to stand as your clean vessel, oh God, uh, to stand before you, before your throne, oh God. 
God. My God, we thank you, oh God, for allowing us, oh God, to impartake and partake in the move that you have for us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us, oh God, to witness your hand. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us, oh God, to witness your pressing. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us, oh God, to witness your promise, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us, oh God, to be a servant, to be humble before you, to come, oh God, with a clear, clean hands and a pure heart, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us, oh God, with your grace and your mercy, oh God, with your love and your kindness, oh God, with your peace, oh God, that surpasses all understanding. We thank you, oh God, for making a way for us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, by Sokobaya, for allowing us, oh God, to enter into your gates with thanksgiving without any disturbance, oh God, without any interference, oh God, without any disruptions, oh God, without any hindrance, oh God, without any blockage, oh God, for the moves that you have for us, oh God. We decree and we declare that it shall be for us. We demand Santabaya. We decree, God, that whatever you have for your people that has been laying before you, that's been patient before you, we shall be rendered into it. You shall render it into our bosom. In the name of Jesus, we decree, God, that we shall be humbled with a humble heart, oh God, to receive your word, to receive your suddenly, oh God, to receive the unexpected move, to receive you, oh God, like never before, to receive the unprecedented thing, the things that would seem impossible, the things that men have never witnessed, the things that men can never think to have witnessed, the things that we have thought that we was not good enough to begin to witness before you, God. We thank you for making things possible, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for anointing our heads with oil and allowing our cup to run over. We thank you for anointing us and all authorizing us and authenticating us for this move. We thank you for giving us the keys, God, for your move. We thank you, oh God, for giving us the authority for your move. We thank you, oh God, for giving us the power to retain your move. We thank you, oh God, for giving us the power to handle your move. We thank you, oh God, for giving us the strength to stand in your move. Move. We thank you, oh God, for you are Alpha, you are Omega, you are the beginnings, and you are the end, you are the first, and you are the last, you are the apostle, you are the lender, not the borrower, you are the king of kings, you are the Lord of lords, you are the ancient of days, you are God, you are I am, you are the way in the middle of the wilderness. You are the light in the darkness, oh God. So we speak your light. And where there is light, God, we decree there is no darkness, God. Where you reside, God, darkness has got to go. Where you reside, God, depression has got to go. Where you reside, God, oppression has got to go. Where you reside, God, failure has got to bow down. We thank you, oh God, for your light. We thank you, oh God, for your light. God, I feel God already. We thank you for the light. Even in our dark places, God, you said that you will be there. So we thank you, God, for being the light in the midst of our situations. So, God, we reverence you. And as we reverence your name, God, and as we lay before you, wherever we are in the realm of the spirit, God, as we prostrate before you and honor you, God, and reverence your existence, oh, God, we render, we give you full permission to roam through our homes. We give you full permission to light up our atmosphere. We give you full permission, God, to light up our situation. We give you full permission, oh God, to light up the things that darkness tries to invade. We give you full permission to do it suddenly in our life. I hear God. 
I hear God if I saw we give God we give you full permission to do what thus say of the Lord we give you full permission oh God to reign on us how I saw and rise within us oh God in the name of Jesus and navigate how I saw through the homes of those that is under the sound of my voice I decree God that we shall render this program into your hands I decree God that that every life uh, that is under the sound of my voice uh, shall be rendered into your hands. Uh, I decree, God, uh, that every individual uh, that's connected to every person uh, under the sound of my voice uh, shall begin to feel the move of God, uh, even if they made it on the line or not. Uh, may your move, oh God, uh, begin to travel through airways. Uh, may your move, God, uh, begin to travel through the streets, God. Uh, may your move, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, begin to travel to the places uh, that we are sick in God uh, and begin to deliver healing uh, begin to deliver stability uh, begin to deliver replenishment uh, begin to deliver deliverance oh God uh, we thank you for all that you are we thank you for being I am we thank you oh father in the name of Jesus I feel God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, let there be a corporate uh, agreement of our store and say, God, that I receive the move. God, I'm ready for what you have. I am tired of being tired. I am tired of not seeing my way out. I am tired of not seeing the end at the end of the tunnel. I am tired of the devil trying to play mind games with me. I am tired. So I beg you and I dare you to say in the live, in this shed, God, I am ready for your move. I dare you to decree in the atmosphere, God move, God move for me, God move for my declaration, my mind, so for my family, God move for me, God move for my house, God move suddenly for my house, God says when you say suddenly, God said, he said, tell them, when I tell them I am about to move suddenly, that means that I am about to come through quickly. Uh, Sabaya, God said, tell them about those who have stayed and labored uh, before me, those uh, who have stayed committed before me, those uh, who have stayed consistently uh, on the wall of prayer, those those who have not given up, uh, those who have not wavered, uh, those who may have gotten hit but not survived, uh, but not have given up, uh, those God said, he said, tell them. Let me calm down because I, I feel God. I feel the move of God. Mom, And when God began to tell me, he said, daughter, when you come on this live, God said, I am about to begin to do a move in their houses. They're about to feel me like never before. I feel God. God says, I am about to mind glory flood gate their homes. There is about to be a flood in your homes and it's going to say glory. It's going to be the glory of God. He said, I need you to tell them that I'm coming to them. I shall meet them where they are. I'm coming to them and I shall sit before them and I shall I shall ascend and descend before them. I shall be their God and they shall be my people. God said, tell my people who are called by my name that I am coming I feel God in my soul God said tell them to hold on tell them to hold on again tell them to think again tell them to hold on yet again God said tell them it is not over I don't know who this is for, but I need you to declare out of your mouth, it's not over. See, the devil thought that he got one over you. The devil thought that he ransacked your spirit. The devil thought that he ransacked your life. But God says, tell them, daughter, it's not over. The devil thought that I wasn't coming for you. But he said, tell them, daughter, that I am coming.
coming and I am coming like a shocky I am coming like a to an earthquake y'all but uh, listen to this uh, so God says tell them I don't want to get up my head of myself uh, but I, I want to reference a scripture here uh, that God begins to give me regarding the people regarding his remnant uh, regarding his chosen uh, regarding the ones who remain faithful uh, regarding the ones uh, he says tell them it is not over so God begins to tell me woman of God to go to Acts chapter 16 uh, and then he told me to start at 22 uh, and this is where Paul and Silas uh, begin to witness uh, and they begin to cast uh, the spirit of divination out of a girl and uh, the city uh, begin to torment them uh, the city begin to judge them uh, and it says then the mob joined uh, in attack against them I hear God. Uh, and the chief of magistrates stripped off their clothes and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After they have inflicted, uh, by, uh, with ha- after they have been inflicted uh, with many blows uh, on them, they threw them in jail, ordering the jailer to keep them securely guarded. My God, uh, and receiving such an order, my God, uh, by Sokoya, he put them in to the inner prison uh, and secure their feet in the stocks. I feel God. And God says, tell them some of them, uh, some of you uh, have been felt like you were in bondage. Some of you felt about so. And y'all better pray whoever is the intercessor. Mm. Because the enemy is not liking what's about to be released. But God says, tell them my God, that many of you have been feeling bound. Many of you have been feeling imprisoned. Many of you have been feeling stuck in situations, stuck in your next move, under cypresses, not knowing, not feeling, feeling like you can't hear God clearly, feeling like God has left you, feeling like you have took blown after blown, after blow after blow, until it clogs your vision, until it's my mind sukubai, until it flogs your vision, because flog means that you have taken so many hits that you are not thinking correctly. Flog means that you have taken so many hits that your blood tissues and your veins begin to communicate to your mind and begin to tell you that you're hurting, you're in pain, you can't make it out of this, you can't live through this. My God, who am I talking to? You ain't gonna be able to get out of the valley of dry bones. Who am I talking to? You ain't gonna be able to get through under my cool due to the impact of your hit and gone to your mind. But God says, Tell them, daughter, that I have not done with them yet. It is not over yet. Tabakia, in spite of the hits, I feel God, mm, in spite of those hits. In spite of the trials, uh, in spite of the tribulations, uh, in spite of the uncertainty of moments, uh, in spite of being in the trenches, uh, in spite of being found like you were thrown in the ditch, uh, where you were left to die, uh, where you were left to spoil, where you were left to be stagnant, uh, God says, tell them it is not over. God said, tell them about it is not over. He keeps telling me, tell them again, tell them again, it is not over. He says, tell them, although you're in the place that you feel like you got thrown. Uh, although you feel like you were in the place that you got thrown in bondage, your money stride up. Hi, yeah. Family stopped talking to you. People walked away from you. You feel like you're in isolation. Uh, you feel like this is punishment. Uh, you feel like God is punishing you. Uh, yeah, that by so uh, you find yourself repenting uh, more and more and more, uh, thinking surely this is something that I've done. Uh, but God says, tell them uh, the only reason why you are experiencing the hits, uh, because it's not that you have done anything wrong. 
wrong. It's all because you have done everything right. You have stood firm in me. You have remained solid in me. You have remained faithful in me. You have remained prostrate before me. God says, tell them, because of your faithfulness, People will walk away from you uh, because of your faithfulness uh, that places you on the alert of the enemy. Uh, because of who you are in God. Uh, because of how powerful your mantle is. Uh, because of how powerful uh, the oil is on your life. Uh, God said people uh, are going to come up against you uh, to try to discard of you. Uh, people are going to try uh, to dismiss you uh, in the midst of, uh, so of your vulnerability. Uh, people uh, are going to try to convince you uh, that you are not who God has called you to be. Uh, people uh, are going to try to convince you uh, that you should just lay there uh, in the midst of your prison place uh, and die and accept the fate of the enemy. Uh, but I decree now uh, that whatever the fate of the enemy is, uh, it shall be overturned uh, and it shall be disintegrated by the power of God. Uh, I decree, God, uh, that your mind shall be altered. Uh, my God, I feel you, God. Uh, my the Amban, so uh, based on the establishment uh, and the creating of the creation of your creator. Who is this for? God said, it doesn't matter where you are. God says, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it seems to be. Paul and Silas was thrown in prison and bound on their feet. And as they were bound to their feet, I feel God, God said, and as they were bound to their feet, you mean to tell me that not only am I in this place, but now I can't move. Now I feel stuck. Now I feel peace to Tobiah, restricted even in this place that I am in. My feet are bound, God. I can't go anywhere. My feet are bound, God. I can't even process this place that I am in. I hear God, but God says, tell them even that it's not enough for me to still my God so sudden, do it suddenly for your life. God said, I need you to hold on because this is a setup. I need you to hold on because God said, I have allowed this because there is a setup for my glory. God says, I need you to hold on to the hand of God. I need you to hold on to the promises of God. God says, my promises are just. My promises are yes and amen. God says, I am not like man that I shall have to repent. I am not like man that I shall have to repent to you. We slow down. I so so the woman that God can interpret. But God says to those, God, yeah, so cool, yeah, that has remained faithful, that has been getting weary in these places and in these seasons, about so that has been feeling a weight, an unusual weight. God says, yes, there has been an unusual weight. But this weight, God says, uh, is called suddenly. This weight is called transition. This weight is called shifting. I am shifting my people to a place called suddenly. And there are some things that is going to happen for you unexpectedly. And God says, do not doubt it. It is me. I am coming through immediately on the behalf of my people. Yes, you were thrown into the jails. Yes, you felt like uh, that there was no way out. Uh, yes, you was thrown into places uh, and the keys was thrown in behind you. Uh, yes, it seems that way. Uh, but God says, I am the ultimate locksmith. Uh, I am the master of keys. Uh, I am the master of exits. Uh, I am the master of entrances. Uh, my God, I hear you. Uh, and God says, even in midnight, uh, my God, Jesus said, tell them uh, their midnight is now. Oh, God says, tell them their midnight is now. I need you to decree in the heavenly language. I need you to decree in the atmosphere. Yes, God, my midnight is now. My breaking is now. 
Shibiano. My deliverance is now. It keeps sticking up. My freedom is now. It kind of My clarity is now. My midnight is now. We're not looking at the Kronos timing. We're in the Kairos of God. My midnight of breaking is now. I feel God. I and about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Yes, God. Mm. And whenever you're ready, woman of God, if I so call that by seat, Habaya. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because this is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, my God. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woman of God, this is powerful. The word is powerful. I'm not even ready to translate yet, but let's just go ahead and do that because of the time frame that you we are in. So I'm, I'm about to welcome our French speakers, and now we'll be speaking in French and translating for this woman of God. In conclusion, everything that she has stated, and then she can pray and prophesy as the Holy Spirit leads. Amen. So. Bonjour à vous tous et bienvenue sur Revelation 8 TV. Nous avons aujourd'hui avec nous Apôtre Desra Hines de North Carolina. Elle est venue ici pour prêcher un mouvement de Dieu. Nous avons tous besoin d'un mouvement du Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Amen. So at this time, I will be translating in conclusion everything that she has stated in French. Je vais traduire en français tout ce qu'elle a dit dans, dans quelques moments moment et comme ça vous pouvez comprendre le message qu'elle est venue nous amener ici sur Revelation 8 TV. Go ahead, woman of God. Glory to God. I will be translating now in French to our French Amen. speakers in Jesus mighty name. Amen. So this is the word of the Lord. Alors c'est la parole du Seigneur. God says your midnight is now. Le Seigneur a dit, le, le, minu, le temps de minuit, c'est maintenant. Yes, God. God says, although you felt like you've been in a place of imprisonment. Le Seigneur a dit, même que vous avez senti que vous étiez en prison, dans un prison. Although you felt stuck and bound. Tu te senti attaché. Uh, although you felt like you could not see the light at the end of tunnels. <clears throat> Même que tu t'es senti que tu ne pouvais pas voir la lumière à, à, au bout du, du ah, tunnel. Yeah. I feel God. I saw and I feel glory. God says, tell them, although it feels like you've been robbed of your recompense and your inheritance. Le Seigneur a dit de leur dire, même que vous avez senti que vous avez été arraché, volé de votre héritance, le Seigneur a dit de vous dire. You may feel like, God, I have done your work and I'm not seeing anything from it. Vous, vous vous êtes senti et vous vous êtes dit que, Seigneur, je fais votre travail, mais je n'ai vu aucun résultat. You, see, you may say, God, I have been faithful to your word and to your will, yet I feel broken. Vous êtes dit que, Seigneur, j'ai eu la foi, j'ai confessé votre parole, je suis resté dans la parole, mais je me sens brisé. You may be feeling like, God, you have allowed me to be placed in a place of darkness, being bound and chained up by my enemies. Vous vous êtes dit que, Seigneur, je me sens dans, 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 le, dans le noir, uh, attaché avec des, des, des minutes contre, uh, contre l'ennemi, contre Satan. You may have felt like everything around you is shattering and doors are closing before you. Vous sentez que toutes choses se ferment contre vous. Fermées, il n'y a pas de entrée. Toutes les portes sont fermées. But I am about to do something for you, and it's called a move. Mais je suis en train de faire quelque chose pour vous, et ça s'appelle un mouvement. 
And I am about to move for you suddenly. Et je suis en train de bouger pour vous euh, euh, instamment. I am about to move quickly. Je, je, vais, je vais bouger vite. Unexpectedly. Qui n'est pas expecté de toi. Immediately. Immédiatement. Instantaneously. Instamment. Acts 16 and 25 states that at midnight. <coughs> Le livre de Actes nous dit que à minuit, that Paul and Silas was praying and singing hymns to God. Que Paul uh, Saul uh, priait à minuit dans dans le prison. Mm, 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 mm. And the prisoners were listening to them sing and worship. Et ceux qui étaient en prison avec lui l'entendaient chanter et glorifier Dieu. And the Bible says that suddenly, my God. Mm, et la Bible du, et la Bible dit, suddenly there was a violent earthquake that hit the foundations of that prison cell. Mm, I feel God. Et, et, et soudainement, le, a, uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that woman of God? And suddenly there was a violent earthquake and Jesus that caused the jail to shake qui a causé le prison de se séquer. and immediately 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 the doors were open et soudainement les portes se sont ouvertes and everyone's chains et were tout le monde a chanté God. God says, tell them again. Et Dieu m'a dit de vous dire encore. He said that everyone changed were loose due to the shaking of the impact of God suddenly. Et le Seigneur m'a dit de vous dire que toutes les chaînes vont se briser soudainement sous le mouvement du Seigneur. And immediately the doors were open. Et immédiatement, les portes se sont ouvertes. God said that this is a move called suddenly. And I am about to open doors on your behalf. Le Seigneur mm. a dit mm. ce mm. mouvement, mm. c'est un mouvement soudainement. Et je vais ouvrir les portes des prisons. And these doors, there will be no keys that will be able to lock them before you. Et ces portes, il n'y aura pas de clé qui pourrait ouvrir ces portes devant vous. These doors, there will be no one behind them that will be able to shut them before you. Et ces portes, il n'y aura personne derrière vous qui pourrait les fermer. The chains have been broken. Ma God, so my God. Les chaînes ont été brisées. And freedom has been rendered unto your bosom. Et on est libre. Mm, so, he says, tell them freedom is here. Make it so, so, my God. Que la liberté est là. He said, tell them again. Freedom is their inheritance. Freedom is their portion. Freedom is your portion. Ah, God. Que la liberté est à vous. La liberté est en vous. La liberté est à vous. And God says, due to the shaking of the foundation of this move, when something is shaken, it is ordered to, to cause a sudden release. The result shall be a sudden release. God says, their result shall be a sudden release. God says, tell them, sudden release. Le Seigneur m'a dit de vous dire, il y a une liberté soudainement. Quand les choses bougent et tremblent, les chaînes sont brisées. Il m'a dit de vous dire, il y a un soudain he says, tell them bondage. Those who can hear me, bondage has been released. Oppression has been released off of you. The chains of infirmity, we decree, has been released off of you. 
les chaînes de, euh, de péché ont été écrasées. The chains of our soul of death, I decree, has got to be released off of you. Les chaînes de la mort ont été enlevées de vous. The chains of torment and terror, I decree, has got to be released off of you. Les chaînes de la peur ont été brisées. The chains I decree of Asokora Basokoya, Meki and Sokoya of suppression and oppression, I decree has got to be released off of you. Les chaînes de suppression, oppression ont été brisées sur vous. The spirit of bondage and suffering, I decree, must be released off of your life. Les chaînes that qui vous a attaché ont été brisées. Je déclare qu'elles ont été brisées dans votre vie. And I decree that you shall walk through the doors. Manda baso. I decree that you shall walk through these suddenly doors of refreshing, of healing and deliverance. Je déclare maintenant que vous devez marcher et entrer dans ces portes de délivrance, ces portes de guérison. I decree that you shall walk through the doors of reviving, of, of revival, and freedom, and freedom. You shall walk through your doors of freedom and revival. I declare that you have to march in your liberty, revive, refresh, in the name of Jesus. So I decree, and I stand in agreement with everyone that's under the sound of my voice. Et je déclare et euh, sur tout le monde qui est sur le son de ma voix that you shall not give up. que vous ne devez pas vous arrêter. You shall not throw in the towel. Vous ne devez pas euh, tout, dire que c'est tout fini. You shall not throw your mantle to the side. You, tu ne devais pas enlever ton manteau, ce que Dieu t'a donné de côté. You shall not give up on the promise that God has given you. Ne vous arrêtez pas dans ce le promesse que Dieu vous a donné. You shall not give your promises to the chains of oppression. Ne donne pas votre promesse dans les chaînes de oppression. You shall not give your promises over the smoke screen and mirror before you. Vous devez pas donner ces ces ces, ces choses là au, au, à cette miroir qui est devant vous. But you shall walk. Through Adaba Soya, you shall walk through midnight. Mais vous devez marcher, marcher dans la liberté. You shall walk through the doors, Adaba so that you labored for. Marcher dans les portes que vous avez travaillé pour. You shall walk through Adaba so in the midst, in the field of your harvest. Vous devez marcher dans les dans dans les champs de votre de votre que vous a, vous allez recevoir. I decree you shall understand and comprehend that your harvest is through those doors. Mm. Je, dé, je déclare que votre votre euh, votre ce que vous devez recevoir est là. So you can't give up. So vous pouvez pas vous arrêter. Because God is about to take over. Parce que Dieu est en train de, de prendre contrôle. You cannot give up. You can't you can stop here. You come too far. Tu es parti trop loin. You come too far. Tu es venu trop loin. You cried too many tears. You've been relentless too long. Oh my God. You defeated too many victories. To not walk through the door. You come too far. I feel God. Glory is about to invade. Yes. I know time is up, but I feel glory. Ah, she taught Pakaya to tell them uh, that glory is here. And glory is about to penetrate.
penetrate to the doorposts and to the airways of your territory. Glory is about to sound the alarm of angels that's guarding different gateways from the north, south, east, and west. And there's about to give them the order to release the chains from off of your feet. The place where you have felt bound and stuck. God said the chains are about to be released and you're about to walk in the doors of your promise. Don't give up here. God, you have gone too far. And God is about to prove himself. He said, tell them, woman of God, this is midnight. This is your midnight. And everything that you felt and deemed impossible to break off of you and to come through for you, God said, this is midnight. Everything is shaking up on behalf of you. This is midnight. Huh? Everything is about to shake, rattle, and roll huh? on behalf of you huh? who have stayed committed to me. Huh? God says, tell them, uh, this is your midnight, Tippi. Macchiato, uh, this is your time of suddenly. Uh, this is your time that if you recommit, uh, if you render it into the atmosphere, uh, God says, I would snatch up your word of agreement uh, and I shall run with it uh, and I shall meet you uh, and I shall shake up the ground beneath you uh, and that me I saw uh, and every gate that was held uh, to stop you from getting uh, all God has had for you. God says it is over. So I pray that you receive this. Woman of God, I, I, I feel God. But the move is called suddenly. The move is called I made it out. Uh, my God, I feel him. He made it out. From those around the world, God said, tell them you made it out of this thing. You have passed the test. And I decree a supernatural breakthrough. I decree a supernatural healing. And I decree that devils have got to bow down and flee. I decree that word curses have got to be disintegrated and dissipated. I decree that the blood of Jesus uh, over your life shall agree uh, with the promises of your life uh, and be at the escort to see you there. I decree uh, that the harvest belongs to you. Uh, and I decree that your mind begins to receive uh, all that God has. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It is so. It is so. We declare it in the heavenly places. May the heavens continue to fight on our behalf. Yes. And may we continue to follow the path of our victory. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Ooh, what a move, what a move. And Revelation 8 TV, glory to God, glory to God. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, Apostle, for releasing this word of God and our soul, our spirit, and our homes right now. Amen. Glory to God. We are sensitive here in the studio. We are sensing this. I wish we was in person. We will not be over because it's been an hour now that we have been here. It doesn't even feel like it. It just only feel like it's just, it's been just a few minutes glory to God so I pray that you have been blessed and you have received this word of God a move of God that fire to ignite you and to keep going and his glory hallelujah hallelujah for this week that is that it's coming amen glory to God we know that it's coming to the end of the year and we need to move in the new year with a new fire hallelujah. yes new fire so, so, so I thank you woman of God to to, to uh, ignite us with this prayer right now, with the word. I wish that the word, you can always go back and replay this. If you're just arriving, we just pray and we just uh, release the word. The woman of God just release the word of God for a new move in the heights of the Lord, in the glory of God. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory. All the glory belongs to him. Hallelujah. Woman of God. 
Ah, may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, I will ask each and every one that is here on Facebook to go ahead and send some star up for this woman of God, for the apostle. Send your star. I need to see your star. Amen. Glory to God. So, woman of God, I know the time is over. We are five minutes over, but I thank you so much for releasing the power of God. And before we go, I know that you have something coming through very soon, which will be next year and the month of April. And so that this is, um, and I would like for you to say a little bit about that. Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am. So what is coming up in April the 12th and the 13th is a God encounter. Um, God is called the um, Kabod encounter off the grid. And what God wants to do is bring many of nations together to equip the body, to worship together, to intercede, to, to break change in the spiritual realm, to set off. God is doing. <clears throat> this is what God is going to do in this place. We're going to have mighty speakers. We're going to have people coming from north, south, east and west. So I invite anyone who is able to make it to come and be equipped, come and be empowered, come and be healed, step free and deliver because God is going to come in and his, his glory, the weight of his glory is going to suppress some things that is not like God. He's going to come and suppress and bring freedom into your life and into your household, into your generation. Amen. That is Amen. April 12th and 13th. There we go. This is what we're referring to uh, from Warriors Unleash Presence for two, two 2024. So please write it down in your calendar and uh, contact the woman of God about this um, um, of the grid. Great. I don't know if I say it right. <laughs> the Kabob Encounter. Yes, Lord. That's going to be some fire there. So again, reach out to Apostle Desra Hens, the visionary and the host of this. This is the intercessor, intercessor worship, and that will be some breakout sessions. So um, I need to be there. I was just thinking about that when you sent it to me. I thought about it, and I said, maybe Revelation 18, we can host. Um, not host, but the on on the uh, media part of it um and if the lord leads uh we may show up where we can interview a few people and what's going on and have it um set up for i will have to check my schedule first because i am invited to go to um um to europe uh i have to check the time if it's not mm -hmm because there's a conference I have to go to, but I will be happy to be there and to uh, to show that on the on our platform, if you agree with that. Oh, okay. yeah, of course. Anything to edify the kingdom of God. Let's do it. Amen. Amen. So again, thank you very much for coming on Revelation 8 TV, where we blow the trumpet and sound the alarm and give a voice to those that carry a vision. Again, if you just arrived here on this platform, we are done for today. We were talking about the move of God. And I pray that you are blessed. Have a great weekend. Yes, thank you. If anyone has a question right now, you can go ahead and ask. Ah, uh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And pray for the apostles for, for the word that was released. Pray that she will be revived in the name of Jesus. Amen. So um, again, thank you to everyone. Have a blessed afternoon in Jesus' mighty name. We'll see you later and come back again and see us on Revelation ATV.
coming soon.